In this video, we're going to take a look at how the process of meiosis works and how it forms gametes. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how meiosis halves the number of chromosomes in gametes. You should then be able to describe how fertilization restores the full number of chromosomes. Normal human cells contain chromosomes that are in pairs, 23 to be specific. Gametes such as sperm and egg cells contain single chromosomes. These gametes contain half the number of chromosomes of a normal cell, so we can call them haploid cells. A human gamete contains 23 single chromosomes. In order to make these gametes, a cell has to first undergo meiosis. The first thing to remember is that meiosis only takes place in reproductive organs. In humans, that's the testes in males and ovaries in females. Much like in mitosis, in the first stage of meiosis called meiosis 1, all of the chromosomes are copied. All the chromosomes then pair up in each of their homologous pairs. Homologous means that each chromosome has alleles of the same gene in the same loci in both chromosomes. Then members of each homologous pair separate. Next, the cell progresses to meiosis 2, where the cell goes through the same process as meiosis 1, except it does not replicate its chromosomes. The cell then divides into two, and then both of these cells divide one more time, forming gametes. As you can see in the gametes, the chromosomes are now single, not paired. In other words, meiosis is half the number of chromosomes. Meiosis produces four gametes from one original cell. Each of these four gametes are genetically different from each other. Each gamete has different alleles, meaning different versions of the same gene. As we've seen, meiosis halves the number of chromosomes and produces gametes, but what happens to these gametes? This shows a gamete from a female and a gamete from a male. You can see that the chromosomes are single, not paired. In sexual reproduction, these gametes join together like this. This is called fertilization. The key thing is that after fertilization, the cell now has the normal or diploid number of chromosomes. In meiosis, the number of chromosomes is halved, but in fertilization, the full number of chromosomes is restored. After fertilization, the cell divides by mitosis, producing a clump of identical cells. This is called an embryo. As the embryo develops, the cells differentiate, forming different cell types. In animals, these include nerve cells and muscle cells. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the process of meiosis and how it results in a halving of the number of chromosomes. You should then be able to describe how fertilization restores the diploid number of chromosomes. Thank you for listening and good luck with your exams.